Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Baka and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karupan defense. C6, D5. Developing the bishop on F5. Robin is playing solid and fast. Well versed with his opening that he just needs to castle. And if he just needs to castle, I just need to break it. And I'm about to proceed with pawn forward now. Asking him to take or he can take with the knight as well. He doesn't. That's interesting. I was pushing forward. Uh, that should not be right much great. I'll go with queen here first. The idea is to pin the pawn and then take this. If he's not careful. If he is, I can come back, of course, any day. Which he's not. So I'll now take. The only way now is to take with this pawn. Which means I can exchange bishops also off the board. He doesn't take, I'll take. Which means all I need to do is now get my queen active and threaten some checkmating patterns. Okay, can we start with knight? Doesn't work. I have had to get my queen backwards first. Try and take, okay, he's asking for knight. Rook exchange, I'll do that. Well, I can get my knight. The idea is to connect both of them. Uh, not required right away. I'll go with my queen first. Okay, trying to break open from there. Takes, takes, and I'll castle now. Pawn forward would mean he's attacking a pawn. That's it now. Nothing more than that. Okay, why is he giving a free pawn? Is there some threat which I am not seeing right now? Uh, I still don't see. Rook can be a threat. Which is not right now for sure. Uh, let's sidestep it for now. That's important not to fall for some dirty tricks. Does take. I can take back with the queen or the rook. Let's take with the queen. Getting queen also off the harm's way. Okay, now how do we go about it? I think I should just first pin the knight, make it more useless as it is already. And his bishop is also pretty much useless now. I'll go in with the, in with the knight now. Maybe here or here, get my rook active and destroy. Goes back which does save his knight for now, but for how long is my question. Um, can go here, let's go onto the corner itself. We'll again try and checkmate the opponent eventually. Can go with the knight. Now this would be a nasty check because of course he cannot move the knight or take my rook. So I'll go with rook on h2 as a check. And I'll still go with that. Which means he has to go down. And which means I can take. Looks like game over. Pretty much. Can take and checkmate. If not, I can checkmate from here. Yep. That was easy. And fast. Um. Nothing much there to be analyzed as well, I would frankly say, because my opponent played bad there. Started off uh, with g3, I played c6, then went for d5. My opponent was busy creating his own little castle over there. So he knew that he has to castle, and that's what I have found as a weakness. If my opponent is just focusing on castling, why don't you just focus on breaking it up as soon as possible? So I went with h4, he doesn't take. A computer says thing you can take or proceed either is fine. 
I all, I generally prefer to proceed the pawn, but since my opponent was too eager to create this castle, I wanted to break it open widely. Now, the best move here uh, is to play pawn forward and push his bishop to a dark corner from where it would be useless throughout the game and maybe setting a checkmate possibility, which can happen later on uh, with queen ending up on g2. So to provide, to make sure that that doesn't happen anytime, he has to babysit his bishop always on the h1. But instead, I went with queen uh, on b6 there. My opponent can take with the knight, uh, but if he does take, I take back with the bishop was my plan. If he takes back with the pawn, I take with the rook. And I'm pretty good there. I don't mind this situation because, yes, he can develop the bishop. Uh, I'll come back maybe. But someday I'll try to read out my queen and try to just checkmate him even from here if possible. I'll find some ways to checkmate him on the h2. I'll take my other knight as well eventually, uh, connect both the knights maybe, and going for h2 again. So lots of attacking options are possible from there on. So I went with queen first, pinning the pawn so that he has to take with the h pawn uh, and then exchange the bishops of the board, but he denied and I took. Uh, and then I went with queen backwards, trying to exchange, so I did. And then I went with knight up, trying to connect both my knights. Now queen comes on c7 and then I just castle eventually after taking. Here my opponent gave a free pawn that was more so comes to attack. Now, computer says you can take here because if rook comes in, what's the threat? Okay, I can get my knight in between. That's also nice. That's even actually more worse, which I could have done to him. But then I just sidestepped. He takes, I take back. And then pin the knight over there, which was not going anywhere because his king never moved. And then he tries to go back and remove the pin, but then I cut the rook. He gets back and I go up. Uh, and then that was check. Uh, it's made in four from there, as I said, uh, and then he took, I take back with the queen, the only move, whatever he plays next move, it's checkmate, and that's what happens eventually. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now, because I'm posting some interesting stuff on a regular basis that would help you improve your chess game to the next level. Thanks for watching. Do give a thumbs up to the video as well. Take care. Bye-bye.